All right, moving on to one of my most favorite parts of any build, the dampers or the shock set. Uh, as you can see here, I've jumped ahead a little bit. I'm actually on about step number 23, where I've already installed the attaching uh, dampers here. You can see on the front and on the back, I've decided to go with a little bit of a stiffer uh, suspension in the rear of the vehicle uh, uh, and about a midline suspension up front. The yeah, racing set comes with, uh, well, three sets of springs. I believe it's red first, which is going to be your softest, your yellow, which I believe is your medium, and the blue, which I, I it feels like it's the uh, strongest of the three. So I've put that in the back. The yellow is up front to absorb any shocks. Uh, any uh, One of the things I did off camera, just because it was a little bit more of a mundane step, was putting in this steering system. I'll get more into this uh, in, in, in uh, further steps here, probably about step number 26. Um, but it, it's rather uh, unique and ingenious how the whole steering setup uh, bends and pivots on that uh, uh, ball system here. Okay, so I'm going to install the other side of the shocks, uh, both front and back, and uh, we'll be able to move on to some electronics. Let's see if I can do this uh, relatively quick. All right, so the shocks and the dampers are now installed. You can see here that the springs give me some nice pushback. This is in the back side of the vehicle. Up front, I've gone with the yellow springs. I'm actually going to tighten them up a little bit here in the front, just with the uh, adjusters. I should have put a dab of grease on these uh, adjusters as well, but we'll do that. We'll get this side here, this side, I've already extended it a bit here. You can see that it's got some nice resistance and bounce back on that. So that's constantly going to be giving me down force onto the uh, surface that I'm racing on. So, you know, traction wise, that's going to be a good thing. Uh, I'm going to have to put some grease in here. I can see this is a little locked up. Yeah, definitely. So, but uh, overall, you can see that the car is starting to take shape. It looks pretty good. Uh, next is the electronics. Uh, I want to see how we can program the ESC and the motor from uh, Speed Passion. And, uh, you know, this car is starting to take shape. All right, so we're coming to the part where we can put some tires on. I showed you guys that I have these tires here, as well as I, I showed these right in the beginning of the series. Uh, I figured uh, I'd go over the differences right now and why I have two sets of tires. So this set of tires here, the rubber compound on them is actually quite sticky. Um, really, they absorb a lot of shock and whatnot, so uh, for stick, I want this, not really for drifting. This, these are for more like if I just want to throw them on for uh, some street uh, drag racing or whatever I want to do with the car, other than drifting. These HPI Super Drift tires, they're 26 millimeters. Uh, you can hear the difference big time on that. They're a harder compound, they're not really a a rubber, they're more of a plastic. So these under great power are going to just basically slip and give me that drift that I'm looking for. So basically like that as they're turning. Wherein these ones here are full of grip, right? And they're being rubber. You can hear that right there. So that's a good indication of how sticky these are. When I do the same thing with these, nothing. Hard plastic. Okay, so I'm going to put these off to the side because they're already pre-built. Uh, I'm going to uh, have a look at the rims. Let's get these out. So, the plastic stock Tamiya rims that come with the car. Just plastic. They're nice. They're, they're not too bad. For a starter car or starter kit, they're going to be efficient. Uh, but for this type of car, I want to go a step beyond. And I also showed these spinners at the beginning of the uh, video series. Uh, these are from Endless. It says here a three-piece interchangeable rim system for one-tenth touring cars. These are 24 millimeter standard Diablos. So uh, let's have a look at these. I'm going to crack these open and uh, install them on here after I glue the tire on. Okay, so through the magic of TV I've actually uh, quickly put this tire together. It took me about three, four minutes just to stretch the low profile tire over the rim itself. You can see, really, I, I don't even think I'm going to apply any glue to these because they're so firm, they're not going to do a lot of slipping. Uh, one thing you want to remember, I found out the hard way on uh, previous projects, is you want to make sure that your tires and your rims are facing the right direction for your tire tread. You can see, remember, it's opposite. 
So you want to do that or else you're going to end up with a tire tread that's going one way uh, while the other one is going the opposite. So make sure to watch your tread and put it on the right way to save yourself a little bit of time. Now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do these three tires here and we'll go back and we'll start putting on those endless parts. <laughs> 